Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Look. I went to the doll spot at Target. Oh no. Before I show you that, um, if you're only picking up on this and didn't see the Dollar Tree haul, we went to Springfield, Missouri. We live in Rolla. It's about an out, it's a hundred miles basically. It's a hundred miles east of here. Um, and while we go there, we do like their shopping that isn't here. There's a mall and everything. Um, but we did on the way home, we celebrated Mother's Day and we did on the way home, we stopped at Redmond's Candy and Gift Shop. The gift shop is the world's largest gift shop. It closes at five o'clock at night. We did not go there, but we did go to, Re Oh, okay. Mind, but we did go to the candy, the candy place. They make their own homemade fudge, chocolate covered stuff. But what they had was Pez dispensers and they were $2.89 each or two for four eighteen. Now, I know what you're saying. Jerry, they have those Pez dispensers at the Dollar Tree sometimes. Sometimes. But they do not. I've never, ever seen these. You know I had to get them. Um, because they were two for two eighteen. I went ahead and I picked up a fourth one. I'm going to give this to my sister Jane. She just had a uh, medical procedure done, so I'm excited to be able to give that to her. She probably won't be able to eat the candy, but she'll have the Hello Kitty. Um, so this is a Hello Kitty Pez dispenser, and it looks like it's two grapes and a lemon. You sent Hello Kitty to Jamie. Jamie, you sent all of Harry Potter to Alicia. He wants a divorce. <laughs> they had Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Each one of these is got. I'm trying to see the flavor. They're official Harry Potter merchandise. They each have a mystery flavor candy. You see the cute little package. And this looks, according to this, like these are the only three that they have. Um, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley. So I picked up one of each. And no, I didn't pick up any for my sister Alicia. My brother, my husband just yelled at me. <laughs> but what I like to go there for, they have pet candy by the pound. And that is where I fill up on my sugar-free taffy. This is saltwater taffy. It's all sugar-free. They have the varieties. They have a bucket of just vanilla, a bucket of just chocolate. They're not my favorite flavors, but they're good. A bucket of just sugar-free banana. These are all sugar-free, by the way. A bucket of just banana. But then they have a mixed bucket. I pick out all the grapes. Not all of them. I pick out a wedge full of grapes. And then I take two blues because blues are okay. I have to be in a mood. So I pick that out. And then they give you this cute little container that you can keep everything separate. And what I do for a treat is I have two to three pieces depending on my carb intake for the day because even though they are sugar-free, I think they still do have some carbs. I will look them up. There's, there's nutrition facts online by the company that makes them. So now if you're here for Target, let's get into the Target haul. Yay! We did buy this bag for 99 cents. You get five cents off, so it's really 94 cents. But every time you bring it back, you get money off. Um, they're... I haven't been bringing bags into stores because we were had the whole pandemic thing and people were like, stores are not letting you bring their recyclable bags in. But it's really gotten to the point where it's just too much. I have to start either buying new recyclable bags or, I don't know, carrying my own in there or whatever. But I only went to the, well, I didn't only, I didn't only go to the, I only bought stuff from the, the Bullseye's Playground. Let me show you what I got. Okay. We were gonna go to Five Below, but I, cho I chose not to because I'm still recovering physically from, from, from basically from my depression and anxiety that I just went through. I'm still recovering and I don't really have stamina. And I knew I wanted to go to Target to the Dollar Spot and then to the food section. And I knew I wanted to go to the Dollar Tree. And then I knew other things we had to do for the day, we were gonna to go to Redmond's and then we were gonna to go to dinner. So I knew that these things that I had to reserve energy for, so I just went to the Target dollar spot and then I walked down to the food section to get my mother-in-law and then I came back. What I found in the Target dollar spot, this organizer, Jimmy, can I open this to see exactly how it goes? This organizer? Yeah. I bought this organizer for Jim's desk. It says it's $3. Here's the info, if you guys are interested. I don't know if that was clear and in focus, but I really want to see because it looks like it comes apart. Like it's, you know, like you can lift the gray tray off the white tray. That's what it looks like to me anyway. But he has just, if you guys have watched the video, 
He's just re uh, moved his office into the deck. Yeah, it's uh, three compartments on the bottom. That's awesome. They actually look like they'd hold post-it notes too. And then at the top, it's got this separate tray. It's a really nice quality plastic. Rigid and flexible at the same time. And then this has two square compartments and then like other things. So he's got all of his like new little pencil, uh, new little stapler that he just got. He's got post-it notes, paper clips, binder clips, all the things he uses for his Viking study, Bible study, and vlogging, and all the things that he does. So I got this for him. This was $3, and I thought that was a great deal. Why am I talking so fast? I don't know. Sorry about that. I do have some pictures of things that I didn't buy, and I love to share with them at the end of this haul. So I'll let you know that. But that is 100% screaming my name. When I saw this, I was like, oh, yes. Very, very, very sure. Please, thank you. Basically, it is just three count bud vases. Now, I'm going to open them because I don't know if they're just pure white or if they have like, nope, they're just pure white. And they're like this um, terracotta type of feel, uh, you know, like a unglazed pottery. Um, and I just thought they were so cute for $3. Yes, that's a dollar each. But honestly, if this was sitting on the counter at the Dollar Tree, I would have bought it. It is glazed on the inside, so I guess you can actually use water um, to, to use it for actual buds. And I just thought that was so adorable, just right up my alley. Um, I found this Lazy Susan, I'm sorry, Lazy Susan condiment holder. Who says it has to hold condiments? Not me. Um, it's got, it's like three divided dishes. It's not like they had holders there. They might have at one time, but they didn't today. And it's a really smooth Lazy Susan. Um, for three dollars. It's a nice size. It's not as big as the one I got in Ikea, but it's also not as much money And it has that like Chipboard bottom with a wood top. So I just thought it was really nice. I can use it on my coffee bar I could use it in my bathroom the Sky's the limit I really would love to keep it out there because that's a whole nother that's a whole nother bowl of wax I didn't need it. I just wanted it <laughs> So let's eat drink and barbecue I thought it was super cute. It's like got the wood sides. Um, I think they're actually, yeah, they're like chipboard. They're like a MDF with like the wood, um, veneer, thank you, um, on the front and back. And then also on the bottom. They had also one, I think I took a picture and it said, um, Grilling and chilling, which I thought was really cute, but it was not my colors. This really nice one, it was. And that was $5. Lazy Susan was three, did I tell you that? I think I did. Then I bought some electronic things. Well, before I bought the electronic things, Catherine from Doing a Dime also shared these. These are just $1 each. They are tube squeezers. So Jer, can I ask you a question? Why, on heaven's name, do you need four tube squeezers? Because honestly, when you see it, you think of toothpaste, but when I see it, I think of hydrocortisone, Voltran, <laughs> Voltaren, um, uh, Pro-X. Like, I don't even think toothpaste. I wasn't even thinking about toothpaste. I think my toothpaste isn't even in this kind of tube. It's like in a stand-up kind of thing anyway. So this is really cool. Catherine tried it. You basically, um, it stands your tube up straight up. You put the opening at the top. You insert it in here and then you twist it and it basically gets all of the stuff out. So we have a couple of cream medicines that I wanted to use them on and also some over the counters that I wanted to use them on as well. We got this outlet shelf. It was just a dollar. I actually got it from my digital assistant. I can't say her name because then she'll respond. <laughs> do um, I would like to move my digital assistant to Jim's table um, because the one that I have on my table is a little too close to the one in the kitchen. And sometimes they get confused of which one I'm talking to. But he didn't really have room on his table for it or um, uh, sure, because I can remember. So I thought this was really cool. So basically you put the plug in here and it holds it and then it'll hold it up there. And it doesn't say like, 
it says 1.1 pound and my digital assistant is way less than 1.1 pound she's very thin but i loved about it the most what you guys are putting holes in the wall that connect it or no no you basically put the plug in here and the plug holds it on you you here here's a picture on the back i here. plug it into like here what I, just let me show you everybody. See this gray ring? That ring is rubber, so it will hold the things without sliding and slipping. So I thought that was really cool. I picked up these. Ow. Mm. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I can try it out. I picked up for a dollar the six pack of cable protectors for your iPhone charger, your phone charger. Not only are they protectors, but they're color coded, so like mom's gyms mine the one for the iphone the one for the watch the one for the tens unit you can actually color code them to remember which one goes to where which i really like so you get six for a dollar i thought that was a great deal so this i am going to open in front of you it says four piece set and i'm going to tell you a story but it says four piece emergency tech kit um and it looks like this now i'm opening it because in the same section where they have like all these like little electronics in the dollar at the bullseye's playground they had a package that had this charger this is a three-in-one charger so it has a lightning cable a type c type uh let's see okay it has a lightning micro usb and usb c cable um plus regular usb on this side um for charging different things so i got that because like when we have company in the car it's like who's got what lisa's got an iphone i'm lisa doesn't have an iphone anymore so mix and match so i got that this was five dollars by itself but in this package i found they had a cable tie, which is my favorite kind of cable tie. It's sort of like just Velcro. It sticks to itself. You can put it in. It's like a zip tie that sticks to itself. It's kind of awesome. So you do like it's a zip tie. Hard side of the Velcro on the outside, and then you just, it, it clings to itself. And it came with a little spray lens cleaner and a little lens cloth. So for an extra nothing, I got three extra pieces in this little emergency kit. And again, that was $5. So that's everything from Target. Jim got a, no, you didn't get a soda. Nope. We didn't find the gum. Nope. So that's everything from the Target dollar spot, plus the things that I got at Redmond's candy store. If you guys have any questions at all, you know what to do. Don't forget to share and like, and the thumbs up and all the things and subscribe and stay in love and give me love. Give each other love. Be kind in the comments. Um, that's it. So as always, you guys take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye.